Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to TFTV. We are doing the ETF2L Season 34 Week 6 matchup against Nerd Rage and Top 5 Rocket. I am not alone. I'm joined by two wonderful gentlemen. I have with me Art Rhythm as my producer, and alongside me, I have my co caster of Wan. Hello. Yeah, this is an exciting game. It's uh, very, very important for both teams to actually like win this game. There's uh, a lot of points on the line. The top five currently one point ahead of Nerd Rage on the standings. And it's, uh, yeah, if, if Nerd Rage lose this, they're pretty much out of playoffs contention, which would be a crazy disappointment for this team, actually, if they don't make playoffs. It's really scary, almost. But, yeah. yeah, it's a huge game because... It's kind of the implications alongside that is, are also for the um, for the kind of lead up games. Like if Nerd Rage lose this, they do have a game against uh, um, the Germans, which would be, you know, Germans haven't had too much of a strong s showing this season, but it's not the easiest matchup. Like it, they are currently bottom, but there's always something that could happen in that. But then you've got Aura Electro against Top Five Rocket, and that is kind of where things get a little bit interesting because potentially Nerd Rage could claw it back. I think just just of numbers, if they could take the concede and take the point, they'll have they'll still be one point behind. And then we've got have, do we have a week eight this season? We do not. No. We do not. So oh no, it is it is make or break. Like this if that would mean that yeah, if the the yeah, if Nerd Rage lose this, then top five rocket will be able to push them out of playoffs. That's there's actually quite a lot for Nerd Rage. I didn't expect them to be at this point in the season right now. Like they're they're a strong team. They're they've got some great players. They have had a switch around, but for example, Sprite's had a great showing this season. I don't feel like he's done too bad. They've got the addition of Smire, who's super experienced. Like I don't I don't really see how they've got to this level in in the showings right now, really, Wan. I'm actually super surprised at um the level that the Karnak's team has been able to show so far. Um, yeah, they they actually managed really to well. take Reckoner off. Um, honestly, a pretty poor showing from Nerd Rage, but at the same time, I kind of feel like crunch time. You'd expect Nerd Rage to just be better considering the players, but right now the standings are just a bit weird. I feel like the the top two, top three, top four kind of situation is really close in this season. But we are uh, two teams are readied up, so I think we are going to. Uh, Going live. Go ahead, take it away, Grumpy Koi. No worries at all, buddy. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be taking this into the first mid right now of product. So for those who don't know, this is a King of the Hill map. First to three is generally where we're going with this. And right now, both teams looking to aim things up, looking to get the initial damage. We have a bomb across by Demol and now Korbak with the follow-up. Ams is gonna clear that up. He is actually playing Scout right now. I think they've got a sniper set up with Koff. Bringing out that sniper right now. Demol on the side. It's going to be backing out, looking for an opportunity. And right now, it's not looking the best for the, the French team. It's top five rocket, losing players. And right now, they're, they're going to be able to get it, one. Nice and easy for them. Yeah, it's a really passive mid coming out of, uh, out of Nerd Rage there. They're just playing around Kunu, and there's a sniping prowess, which is fairly notorious at this point. This is really close actually to what we saw from the old Ascent roster a few seasons ago when they just had Credu who could just hit absolutely every rocket but they are actually top 5 trying to re aggress here. They do send Korbak in behind but Kunu. It's a nice little headshot there onto Elacor. Korbak is jumping so far forward oh, into the enemy big. team trying to find Sprite. He's not actually dead yet. demol has gone down in the meantime as well. Now Korbak, they've lost so many players there onto Sprite. It doesn't actually go down. It's even Ubers but yeah. It's really close so far. This sniper is doing a lot of work already and not really able to find these kills onto onto Kunu and it's uh, it's hurting big time because he will he will find these headshots over and over and over again. He's just gonna keep finding these picks. It makes it very difficult to actually do that much on Viaduct. That was a really good play from Korbak there. He got some really decent height around China and bombed straight onto Sprite but it only seemed like he took 50 damage and that was it. As Korbak's back in the air, he's going to get cleaned up by Koff. Koff looking for another headshot, only going to get their body shot onto the demo, but Elecor's going to get cleaned up by Smire, and the repush is already out of Nerd Rage. They're looking for some more connection as the Uber does come in. Sprite's still holding on. The denial from Smire was really good. Scruff, the only one that's going to go down as a result to Sorex. And 
As the fight continues on, Demol does go down. Kovac's now going in for a big bomb to deal some damage. Not really going to connect anything. He's going to get cleaned up. So Nerd Rage still with 100% Uber. Oh, Ace went down for Kunu. Oh, hit a God. massive headshot. Kunu just absolutely popped off there at the end on Ace. Just takes him out. It's now full Uber charge advantage. They still haven't popped this. <laughs> like, the fact that Sprite hasn't died after two minutes of Viaduct is honestly extremely impressive because Medic on this map is just impossible. I don't know how anyone does it. It's extremely intense. You're just being bombed over and over again. They're actually just coming back in, but they're not able to find these kills. Elicor, Sorix, and Callback already dead. Damul actually finally finds the kill into Kunu. But it's just one player for these four members. They're trying to get the Zuber out of the Sprite, but he's just not popping. They didn't even get the cap. I didn't I didn't necessarily even think that top five had a plan of who they were gonna bomb. They had an idea of where they wanted to go, but they got caught, but really they they should be looking for that force, that sack wave onto so oh, as I say it, Sprite gets cleaned up by a by a combo between Elecor and Damul. Not his fault. That's almost impossible to predict. Getting shot by the pipe just after being hit by a rocket. But Scruff in the front, he is going to get cleaned up by Sorex. You know, Sorex himself, a little bit of a DM god when it comes to playing Scout. And we should be seeing him pop off a little bit more during product, hopefully. Yeah, I've actually not been too impressed by Sorex this season, but they're just going to recontest this point. This is a super easy cap for them. As, uh, they might even catch up Polygon here on the flank, but just doesn't actually end up going down. Demol, he's just dead again now. Kunu finds another kill onto Neo. However, they're just walking back forwards with these two picks right now. Polly! Top five is so out of position. What's happening? Polly is really there by Polygon. <laughs> oh my god. I don't, I don't, I don't think uh, top five Rocket right now really are keeping a track of their players. Like, A should not have been that separated from his team there. You know, someone should have been there. If it was Neo, if it was Sorex. Just someone to clean up that soldier play because Polygon just read that perfectly and cleaned up pace. Yeah, really nice play from Polygon. Doing exactly what you would expect out of um, this one soldier lineup that they've currently got going on on Nerd Rage. It's become a bit of a standard battle here, actually, but top five. Actually, Nerd Rage, they're just going to take this Uber straight in. Finding Ace again. Sarx to Moore go down as well. It's just Korpak alive. He does find a kill on Kunu. Kunu is dead. Which does like it's a it's a breath of fresh air, a sigh of relief for for, uh, for top five, but it doesn't matter because Polygon just finds a kill onto onto Neo as well. Elico finds a trade kill onto Scruff. They are down one player, but it's just not enough. Callback, he's sitting on Cliff right now. He's just gonna jump forwards, try to find something. Does actually find Sprite there with the help of Demol. It's top five. They're walking onto the point right now. But the more he's just dead again. Right now, Elicor is actually taking so low by the stickies of Smear. Smith somehow holding with this with only 60 HP. He finally gets bombed, taken out by Neo and Korbak there. Yeah, Top right. five sitting pretty comfortably on the midpoint now. They do have a 70% advantage as well. And that's that's a really good push out them, just slowly pushing the players out, getting the picks, but. Nerd Rage has got plenty of time to make a retort on this. Uber is an advantage for Ace right now, but if Nerd Rage can get the force, come back in, they've got 60 seconds now. They need to make sure, you know, even if they can get Koff into a position right now, they can't lose this. Actually, Uber has come out onto Sorek. They've cleaned up Smire. They're looking for another pick. They haven't really found anyone to pick onto. But with Sprite still behind, he's got 50% Uber. Koff. <gasps> got ace you know even though that's a that's a sweet pick they're already an advantage for the uber so they just need to push out and cap it now 80 percent onto sprite they're gonna come up cliff they just need like if they can get the demo pick off cough that will be absolutely sweet but there's a soldier hiding he's now gonna be jumping up he's just gonna get shot down by cough not even a chance there and now cough looking for an angle seeing if he can get onto that demo man that'll be a great shot he gets ace instead so they've got no healing, so they can play the long fight. The Ubers come in, they've started to clean up players. Sorex the only one alive, and Korvac is a smolder. He is going to go down. And, oh, you shouldn't be taunting Ams. Remember what happened last time you did that? The calm down, boy. But that is going to be first round going to Nerd Rage. Quite convincingly, Wan. Yeah, the sniper of Kunu is just doing so much work right now as uh, 
I'm struggling to figure out my camera. Okay, there we go. We are now <laughs> heading into the second mid fight of this game. So, do see slightly very passive mid out of out of Nudridge again. Dumul's jumping fairly behind. He's trying to maybe find a kill on the flank here. He's not going to find anything. Oh, Kibunu, this is another headshot onto Ace. How is he doing this? He's not even dead. Eloqua tries to jump in. He gets completely shut down. Sorry, he's in China right now, trying to find a kill, but he's not being able to find anything. Callback! Callback! Gets the kill onto Sprite, possibly salvaging this round. Ace is known as a bit of a tilter, and dying this many times, Kunu already, might spell very bad things going forwards for these uh, top five people. They're gonna have to sort of recollect themselves because Kunu right now is absolutely destroying them. You have to expect to die as medic on product. It's, it's just a given, it's not fun. But you just have to accept it. There are so many things that can go wrong, and there's just so many situations where the high ground is around you, the soldiers bombing you, there's a scout running at you. It's not the easiest. And both both teams, I think, have we had a drop out base? I know we've had a drop out. Yeah, no, we have. It was a headshot from a uh, calf. So oh both. God. Oh my God, Elecor just gets whittled down by calf again. They, they need to get a soldier in on Koff right now. He's just headshotting people left, right, and center. Korbak's been shown the rough end of the stick. He gets Sorex as well as he drops down. Koff is a terrifying sniper. All of that Highlander experience coming to show right now from him as he's watching the angle on Cliff, and they're just about to surpass the time that Top 5 Rocket have set. And now Top 5 really need to make something happen, even if it's an Uber exchange, even if it's taking down cough on the side them all looking maybe to do it and i don't yeah i cough knows cough knows he takes 50 he's gonna back out now it's gonna take more he's gonna get cleaned out uber has actually come out and exchanged by both teams and right now one just a little bit of an edge coming in from top five rocket but elicor is gonna get cleaned up so that's gonna be completely snuffed out and as the chaos kind of subsides, Nerd Rage still on top, half capped by Top 5 Rocket. The only thing that Top 5 Rocket have in their advantage is those spawn times, Wan. Obviously, 10 seconds for Nerd Rage, whilst only 5 seconds for Top 5, so they could be looking. Oh my god, the mall just gets domed instantly. It's so hard as a soldier to get behind and kill this sniper when he's just air headshotting you, body shotting you every time. Polygon as well, he's doing such a good job of locking down this flank. These scouts, they're just doing everything in their power to just keep Kunu alive. This is a Highlander strategy, and it's working out for them perfectly. He's just finding so many picks, and now the scouts as well, really low. Top 5, they almost had Nuber advantage, but they're just not able to push on any of it. It's now Elkru is going to get found as well by Ams. Polygon's getting traded off, but it doesn't really matter. They're down a demo man on this map, on Viaduct. It's so hard to push without this player. Or without your demo man, and now Neo. He's actually trying to walk forwards here. Slowly and steadily trying to creep on the point, but they're just... It's such a passive play out of Nerd Rage, and they just take the Uber in. Find a kill onto Neo here, and now... There's a scout on Smear. Smear Max didn't go down here. The scout of Sorex he does find. Smear as well as Elico onto Sprite right now. Ants is dead as well. This is finally looking a bit up for top five. And now it's just Kunu. He's trying to find something. This is a soldier on him. And yeah, it's a full wipe actually coming out for top five. Maybe a glimmer of hope for these guys looking for a turnaround. Yeah, right now, top five Rocket have got their forward hold up. And this could really work in their favor. They need to deny these sack plays. They're going to be going for, for a sack wave on the side of Nerd Rage as they bring in both soldiers on the right hand side with a pyro. And they get Ace! Ace is just not having a good game. <laughs> They end up losing their demo and their soldier for it, but it just doesn't matter. Because now Kunu's back on Sniper. They have a 40% ad polygon. <laughs> insane. Somehow this is working for top five. Normally you'd expect, or for Nerd Rage, normally you'd expect that Uber to help them a little bit, but Ace just gets slammed by the enemy. And now they're just back on mid right now. Kunu doesn't actually find anything. He's going to rotate around. But Elecor finds nice pipes and stickies onto Ams and Smear there. And now Callback, he's in as well. Doesn't actually find any kill, but Neo does follow up. Gets the kill onto Scruff. They're on the point now. They've reclaimed it, actually. They don't even get the cap on the side of Nerd Rage. 
Uber's are slightly in their favor, however, but it is extremely difficult to push in this situation, especially when you have a sniper. There's not as much firepower on your team as it normally would be, as we do see slowly aggressing Polygon. He's sitting on his own concrete right now. The rest of that of <laughs> Nerd Rage, they're rotating around. Again, building this space for their sniper to just roll the dice and keep rolling until he finally gets a good roll and hits a, gets a nice little headshot there. But Timo drops down to 22 HP. The Uber's popped out of top five extremely early. Post Uber does come out. The trade Uber, might I add, does come out of the side of Nerd Rage. They're just going to come back in and use this Uber to completely block top five off the point. They're just slowly, slowly capping away. There's Demol. He's going to try to go in, but he's just brought down immediately. So low. So is Callback. Hams finally goes down to Eloko. He's just walking forward. Takes down Smear as well, but now Kunu has found a kill onto Sorex. The Sprite. The Sprite and his scouts come back in with Kunu. Hits a nice little body shot there onto the scout, but Ace stuck behind the rock right now. Does he find anything? Kunu! Oh, that was very close. Body shot there onto Ace. Doesn't actually find anything. Close right now. Top 5, they've respawned. Sprite has a 10% Uber disad. The soldiers are just sucking back in, trying to make space on this point. They just have to cap this to win the round. Oh, the bomb comes in from Polygon. Oh my god! Cleans up three players with that, and... They, yeah, they have 15 seconds left right now, One, We do see Korbak is still alive. Should be looking for that bomb right now. But with five seconds left, you just got to commit, Korbak. Just get the time. Right just, just get the time. Just get the time. You have got a little bit. The Ubers come out of nerd range. They're going to be trying to clean up the players that sat for the point. And yeah, that's... Unless... Yeah, unless Sorex pulls out a 6k out of nowhere. That's 2-0 to Nerd Rage right now, Wan. Yeah, this is looking extremely dominant for Nerd Rage, actually. They're playing this extremely well. Top 5, they were able to do a lot better this round than last time, but now we do see Damul, he's found the sniper. Gonna attempt to counter sack here, actually, on this mid. We'll see how it goes. Maybe a more passive mid coming out of top 5 as well. Elokro is just spamming a little bit of stickies. Kunu just immediately headshot Sorex there. He's now he's peeking as well. He's charged up the shot. He doesn't quite hit Demol there. This is probably more important than the actual mid fight. Demol, he does find a nice headshot. But Polygon's just in. Finds Neo already. And now Scruffy's in as well. He's on Demol. Does oh, he's kill. He's onto the med now. He's gonna get it. No, he isn't. Very close stuff. Scruff really joining in with the chaos. You know. It, it, it has been interesting to see how Scruff is adjusted to this team right now as Smiri does go down because, it, you know, this is a completely different team to Aura Electra. Like, Nerd Rage are chaos. Chaos reincarnated, and they're kind of showing that right now. It's like their controlled chaos always seems to work, and Scruff is kind of embracing that right now. And it's lovely to see, especially on product, where you've really got to kind of embrace those moments. As oh, Scruff! <laughs> No, I am the sniper man, not you, Demol. Gonna go down. Some smokes out of respect, but Koff is gonna go down to Sorex and and just out there. Oh, two pipe, two pipes, two shots. The med, and now looks to clean up the soldier chasing onto Sprite. He is gonna go down. Sprite super low, but does get the pack. And um, all alone taking this fight. The demo now looking to go onto the pack, and oh, Elecor is just gonna survive with one HP. Gonna go down to Scruff there. Looking for a quick top 5 re-aggression here. They uh, they obviously don't have the cap, so the side of uh, the blue team is going to spawn a little bit faster. They finally finish off that cap. It's trying to lit the spawns a little bit. They actually managed to get this set up. They're not going to push forwards. They're not going to do a forwards hold like the enemy did do, but Demol has just said, okay, that's enough. I'm not going to try to snipe against Kunu. The high Highlander main is now. He's just trying to find a pick. Both soldiers aggressing onto the enemy side, but Eloko, Demu, Korbak, and Neo all go down trying to find this medic kill. They are unsuccessful, but that's the entire point of the sack wave necessarily. Because the med is all, all the way in spawn, he's just going to. Ace has just been able to build this, and now the Uber's actually gotten fairly even. There's only a 10% add for Sprite. This won't matter in the long run, and now top 5. It's worth the attempt to sack their four players, even though they might not like the look on their logs afterwards, because that sack is just able to find some so much. A four-man sack is extremely powerful. They did get very close, but just no cigar for the enemy team. Demol and Kobak, they've actually found their way onto the flank, onto Smear, and he gets completely shot away. Kobak's gone down in the meantime, however. 
rest of top 5, they haven't really been able to get in. It's Kunu, he finds a headshot onto Elacor. Ubers are actually popped out of top 5, finally. The Ubers from Sprite was popped out way early. He's just going to go down to both these scouts here. And now, just a moon trying to kill Kunu. No! He just hits the biggest headshot in the game. What the hell? How did he hit that? That's insane. I assumed he was just going to go straight down to that, but he he gets to Mool in the air. Oh, oh my god. Sit oh down, Demul. That's, uh, that's unlucky. I think you uh, have to call the Kunhu Prince Anduin or something, because he's absolutely smashing these orcs right now. So that's a World of Warcraft <laughs> reference. No one's gonna understand, but it's okay. I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Thank you so much. I don't even think canonically Anduin does that. Anyway. No, he doesn't, but just ignore it. It's fine. Don't, don't question <laughs> They're walking it. We're back. going back into the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're walking forwards right now. Smash is gonna spam a little bit across. Neo is actually dangerously low right now. He's just gonna take the heals. They're so far back, but now the Polygon is just gonna go down. But Kunu, he oh. finds Ace again. Spur and Ams are gonna be dead, however. There are only three up for the side of Nerve Rage right now. Kunu, he's lining up a nice little shot. Doesn't actually hit it though this time. Demur finally, finally kills Kunu, but he does trade with uh, with Scruff right now. It's a full Uber charge advantage. For Sprite, however, this entire time he hasn't died. So now they can just come out of spawn right now. They have a full Uber charge, even though there's a minute more for them to cap than the enemy side right now. They can potentially just cap this easily with this Uber charge. It's actually going to get popped out immediately here. Smears onto the med. He just gets completely shot down. Now, Sorry doesn't actually find Smear anyway. It's just looking like a complete whitewash for the side of Nerd Rage right now as they just find every kill. Elacru is dead as well, it's just the soldiers alive, but they're both so weak, they're just gonna go back to spawn here. Just didn't manage to hold that at all, despite... Yeah, just... It was a valiant attempt at the beginning, but Kunu, he just keeps finding these headshots onto Ace, and it's just shutting down top 5 entirely. Top 5 are really gonna need to pull something out of the bag right now, as they're gonna be pushing forward. Ubers are a little bit in advantage for Sprite, but Sorx always already baiting out that point. They need to deal with Cop. They need to get their soldiers in the air and deal with Koff, because if they wait too long, he's going to get Ace. Look, he's so patient. He's so patient. He just cleans up Neo, cleans up Korvac, just knows when to take the shots, and already just converted it into an advantage for his team. Polygon on the Pootis does go down, but Koff done so much work. He's now rotating up, looking for the pick. Oh, he knows Damal is near him. And Demol's gonna go for the play, not gonna hit it. Sorex got in with the Uber, he's gonna clean up Smire, so this could be a spot for them. As they have actually capped out the point, they're dealing with the scouts, trying to push into them. They just need to get out of the traps, deny it as much as possible. One second left, three times on the point. They need to push into this, not bunch up like they are, they're getting the pit. They got the third one, Sprite's trying to stay alive. And actually, that's going to be a round if they can get... Ah, oh, Smire only able to get Elacor. And Koff, unless he, yeah, pulls something out of the bag. Top 5 Rocket taking a round. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the heavy of Polygon was actually accomplishing there. He wasn't standing on the point. He was doing a very good job of area denial, but they weren't taking... They weren't capitalizing off the space that they were getting from from this, uh, this, heavy, this heavy aggression. So now... The heavy didn't pay off and he just kind of ended up going down, left him with a free pick. They just go back in. We're now headed into the third mid fight of the game right now. Actually, the fourth, I'm so sorry. It's now both the soldiers. They bomb in immediately trying to find something. Pull back and Demur, they don't actually find anything other than just enemy players that they aren't able to kill. Korbak's traded off as well. Both soldiers are now down and now Kunu just rotated around onto Cliff. The enemy team, they've just completely backed out. They know without their soldiers being able to put on the aggression and make some space, they aren't realistically going to be able to find anything onto the enemy. So right now they're just sitting around China trying to maybe edge their way back onto the point right now. It's even Ubers, so a fight trade could actually potentially end up happening here, depending on how many hedge Shots Kunu starts hitting. It doesn't hit anything quite yet. There's a soldier on Cliff, but he just gets popped down by a little body shot right now. Elicor, he's sitting on concrete. It's actually fairly low. He's only 160. Does get arrowed, however. Sitting behind this rock right now, trying to move forwards as they just edge slowly onto the point. But Kunu finds Sarge with that body shot. Doesn't actually end up going down, but Elicor Big. does find the kill onto Scruff. But Scruff traded with him, so there's such a huge advantage. Three players down for top five rocket. So Nerd Rage are just going to waddle into a good spot right now for themselves. 
And we're probably going to see, like, this is potentially not a bad time to do a little sack wave and then try try and get your uh, your uber advantage just in tow. Things are equal, but Sprite's going to really try and hold on to it as they brought their uber in way too early. 30%, 20%, haven't... What are you doing, Top 5 Rocket? No, yeah, you just cost yourself the round. I'm not quite sure if we're in the round territory yet, but we are in a situation where Demur just does the absolute poverty bomb in, just jumps into both scouts, there's nothing he could do there. Kunu just says, okay, Neo, goodbye. Not in the game anymore. Elikro is dropped dangerously low. Doesn't actually end up going down there. But yeah, Uber was popped out so early. I think they thought they could get onto Nerd Rage. But the scout just did so much work, completely denying that bomb from Dumul. Trying to skip forward, just gets denied completely. Now, Nerd Rage that just sat back. They know they don't even have to push this. They can just use their Uber to, to extend their capital further. They do sack in Elikro and callback. Also, Dumul. But they just don't find anything. All three players immediately going down, and now they're a huge player disadvantage again. It's a 90%. They could have, like, honestly, that sack wave wasn't even that necessary. There's one minute left right now for Nerd Rage, and they're just gonna keep on holding this. The Uber is just keeping them in this, and Kunu as well. He's just doing so much work. You can see how scared Top 5 are of moving anywhere. They're all bunched on Cliff right now because they know they can't realistically peek anywhere. He's just been peeking up. He's just been hitting everything as he just hits a shot onto Elikor right there. Now Sorx is in the sky, actually pretty low. The Ubers are popped out for both teams. Both faded away again, but the demo is dead for one side, and that's just such a huge advantage for the enemy. They're just getting so much room. They're just going to recap this, actually. Top 5, not able to contest it in time. Korpak is really low as well. Another bomb comes in from Polygon. Does a lot of damage here, and Neo is dead as well. Ace is really far back right now. He's not that that healthy. Sorx is dead, and so is Ace. Kunu just cleaning up with the body shots right now. Doesn't even need to hit the headshots because he knows that 50 damage is all it takes. It's a wipe now. It's 30 seconds left. Top 5. They're just going to have to push this without anything. They're just going to have to completely dry push this and hope for the best that maybe they will be able to just wipe them or something. It's pretty much the only thing that will save them in this game. Yeah, they need to they need to pull out some wizardry right now because eight percent on Uber for Sprite, half in a great position. Looking to maybe just connect another thing onto Elacor. Scruff cleaning the behind. They have got two times on it. Oh, their players are starting to drop down. They're getting pushed off from the Uber that has come out. All Nerd Rage need to do right now is let Ams. Clean up Elacor, distract, get Sorex <laughs> with the clutch, and that wasted enough time to bring it to 3 1 for Nerd Rage, taking the first map. Oh. Yeah, really impressive stuff there coming out of Nerd Rage. A commanding performance, actually. There was a couple of close rounds, but at the end, they just like. The sniper from Kunu was just too powerful. Completely, completely destroyed everything they tried to do on the side of top 5. They didn't really have an answer for it. I also think there is a massive caveat, of course, that Amazon Scout, in my personal opinion, is a bit better than he is on Soldier. And just being able to have Kunu on Sniper, as well as Ams and Scruff on Scout, just makes for an absolutely devastating combo. There's not a lot you can do against these types of players, unless you have something that can respond to it. If you're not able to sack in your Soldiers behind, there's not really a lot of response you can have to this Sniper. You only real players to try and counter-sack him, or counter-snipe him, but he just... When Demol tried that, he got completely destroyed by uh, by the enemy there. Oh. Difficult stuff. I've got the logs up. Oh. Any guesses what Koff's kill death is? Ooh, wait, hold on. I think he might he might be on a bit of a 32-9 kind of yeah. game right now with 356 DPM. 23 goddamn headshots. That's nearly as much as the. Oh. There was a cast turbo tie ups and I did where Credu got like, I think it was like 29 to 30, 35, somewhere in that range headshots. Nearly as mental as that. And Cough put in some. Like, there was nothing top five could do because of Cough Sniper. Like, he just denied way too much. It was almost impossible for them to, to really deal with it. This felt like um, there's a game from a couple of seasons ago. Um, 
season 28, I believe, which is the bin versus the bin black, where um, you on paper you kind of expect the the bin black to win, but then they play Viaduct against Mr. Epic on Sniper, who gets 50 kills and like 500 mm. DPM, just completely destroys everything, and it's just like. Viaduct is just one of those maps where a single player in the form of the sniper could just be so absolutely dominant, completely shape the way that the, the game goes, and it's just... It's definitely the story of the game. Smith did do a lot as well. He had some very nice logs. So does Elecor, actually, but it just... It's, it's not enough when you just look at the sheer amount of power that this sniper does wield. And when you can't... When you don't have an answer for it, you just kind of have to forfeit the map. Yeah, and I think alongside that, like you mentioned it, but the Am Scout did pretty well as well. Uh, just just protecting and denying those bombs. And like the question I have for you now, going into this next map, because you kind of mentioned it, is Ams is no longer on Scout. He's going back onto Soldier. How do you feel like that's gonna weaken Nerd Rage potentially? Because they're not going to be able to rely on the sniper at all. Well, at all as much on uh, Granary. You can still, you know, you can still trust your sniper to a degree on certain points, but it's going to be a lot more kind of cookie cutter. And you've got the Ams versus Polygon combo versus the Korbak and Demol. Like, what are you thinking of that matchup, especially as we come onto this Granary mid? I think that it's going to be. Close, but not like too close. I think Ams and Polygon are both incredible soldiers. It's it's obviously when I say that Ams on Scout is better than 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 Ams on Soldier. It's not really to take away anything from his Soldier. It's still really really good. It's just the fact that Ams on Scout is just something to behold. I think he was on that Ascent team. He definitely was the the player to watch on the team besides um, besides Credu, who uh, who did obviously as well was absolutely insane on that team. But I am expecting some very, very aggressive mids coming out of Ams and Polygon. Ams is very much known for being this sort of really aggressive player. Tends to really like going in. He did a stream a really long time ago, which I like to think sort of inspired him, where he's reviewing a Froyo tech demo, where they just kept pushing into each other, and I'm pretty sure that's what inspired him to just not really want to take stalemates. He has a lot of monologues on his stream as well about how he dislikes stalemates and sack waves and stuff like this. It's, um, I expect... a. a a surprisingly fast-paced game. I think it's up to top five to be able to slow it down and sort of try to manage the the sheer chaos that will be Nerd Rage in this series. As, uh, as yeah, especially yesterday, I was watching them scrim a little bit, and they were doing a lot of VB fast bombs onto the enemy into choke Polygon and Ams, and they're just like Polygon's DM is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know if you saw his land, his land, but that, that the land frag video we had was basically just Polygon the entire time. He was so good. Hit so many shots, and Granary is traditionally known to be one of those maps where Soldier just does so much more than every other map. But I feel like it's kind of changed. I don't think it really works that way anymore with the advent of the winger and the scout being able to jump on the crates and stuff. I think this Granary is actually not that good for Soldiers. Um, sure, there are a lot of choke points and stuff, but realistically, either you'd rather want a demo or a scout, no matter where you are on the map. The Soldier's not really able to do that much in a lot of spots, but. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, honestly. I think, obviously, Kobak them all. Both really good players in their own right, but I think they're just slightly outclassed right now mm. coming into this game. I feel... No, I totally agree with you, but, like, Granary... The pace of a Granary mid-fight is just fully set by the Soldiers. It's it's one of those maps where, because there's so much... Or, uh, there's so much just like enclosed space on that mid because of the 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 um the crates and because high ground is so important that if your soldiers don't do a good start to the mid you'll 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 notice it you'll feel it because you won't be able to get your players up into that high position you won't be able to get your um your demo into a spot where you can actually help during the mid because for the start of it the the demo and the med are like so blind like they can't see anything and it can be infuriating for those classes if they're not able to know where the initial damage is, where the enemy team is coming from and what they're doing because it's easy to like just beeline your team across the left-hand side to yourself and just go in through that little little crevice in between the two crates or you can go 
you know round by their garage you can go straight across the point but if you go one of those ways information is like really important because it's very very easy to kind of lose track of your opponents during this mid fight and kind of just be in a spot where you're like where is someone and then a surprise soldier bomb or a surprise scout can really just like completely screw over your mid fight so it's a it's a it's it's a interesting mid i do like i do like myself a bit of the granary mid personally i think it's all right it can be a bit frustrating as a soldier mm. because there are situations where if you don't bomb it immediately scouts will be on the high ground and you just can't do anything anymore so it's very easy as a scout to just get on the crates and just shut down everything a soldier would ever want to do to the enemy team but at the same time you know like you could just as a soldier still there are so many angles on this map actually there are a lot of flanks a lot of little nooks and crannies that roamers can hide in sort of sit and wait for the enemy to kind of walk into them a lot of classic spots but we are going live with etf well season 34 week six matchup between nerd rage and top five of course this season is as always powered by the wonderful community going live go ahead grumpy koi i think this this mid is yours i've taken the past few Ah, oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. As we come into this first mid on Granary, and right now it's looking like there was a bit more speed on Elicor, but Smear and Elicor just exchanging it out. We're going to be waiting for those initial bonds, and they're going to come out in Nerd Rage. Polygon's going to be the first one to pick up, but Am's going in, going to clean up Sorex. Scout going in on him as well, but it's going to go down, and numbers are pretty equal right now. As I say that, one player does go down for Nerd Rage, so it's just Scrap and Sprite, and that's going to bring that mid-fight in top five Rockets' favor. Yeah, this, the end of the mid-fight is one of the examples of one of the few situations on this map where the Soldier really can be the best class if the Demo Man is not present, because while there were two scouts up for, uh, for Nerd Rage, you kind of expect them to be able to, to win that fight, because usually you're in a situation where you have two scouts and the enemy has one, you want to try and fight them, because two scouts are... Pretty much like better than, than one, right? But in this situation, Korbak, he's as the soldier class looking at that ramp room, he's able to lock it down completely. And Sprite and the rest of the, the squad kind of realizes as they lose one of their players, right? And they just can't really stay in, they can't go in. Top five getting a little bit aggressive in this ramp room, actually. Trying to find a kill as the Moon does go in. Sprite dropped down to 60 HP, doesn't actually get anything. Now Ams is going for the counter sack, doesn't find anything. Gets damage on Korbak, but. That damage is negligible. It's now Elicor. He's found the kill onto Polygon as well. This might actually Polygon just be a push. Polygon forced. What a bomb. He forced? So he, he, so what he did is, he, as, as Ams was causing ruckus, he jumps out of the, um, the door in upper garage and goes straight onto Ace and forces Ace. So that was a great play from Polygon there. Huge brain. Sprite drives to trap. Oh, that's a drop. You were the chosen one! <laughs> oh my god! I believed in you! Alright, oh they're actually no. just gonna leave this. The sprite does drop, and now Smear is dead as well. Top 5, they just reclaim this mid after a nice little sticky trap that by Elicor. Completely salvaging the round for his team. Is now Ace, he's at a 70% uber charge advantage. It's absolutely massive. They're gonna do this classic play, actually, never mind. They're not gonna walk into the lunchbox. It's my favorite push of all time. Doesn't actually the work. They don't do it anyway, but Hams is just dead right now. They can't afford to lose a player like this. Scruff does build a sentry right now. We'll see if they go for the coveted coveted push where you uh, bomb in your demo but it doesn't actually seem to matter right now they're just walking onto the point with the sentry doing so much work stickies are finally blown as well the sentry does go down but they're not really finding any position onto the point right now so low actually on the side of nerd rage but top five they're not able to find the kill smith does go down but it's just not enough for the side of top five end up only getting smear from this push and oh no that was Kind of a shocking push. There's a lot better ways to push that. They just kind of misread the situation. Not really able to find that kill on the sentry early on. It's just really bad for, in terms of them being able to find space to, to potentially cap and win a, win a round here. Yeah, it's oh no, abs gets cleaned up by the trap medical. At least it wasn't sprite. So you, you know, abs can say that sticks are cleared. But right now, that's going to cause a little bit of a backpedal out of Nerd Rage. And they are not looking that comfortable as we're going to see uh, your favorite push and mine actually on this map. Which is they're looking to go into Lunchbox, maybe send their soldier in. Korbak going in. 
Oh, that would have been perfect if he wasn't denied by that scout. And they're going to have to rotate. Top five rocket maybe looking for a new angle, but they know that because they sacked in that player, there may be a counter sack. And doesn't seem like there is. They're just going to be holding on to this second. Granary known for its uh, slow paced gameplay that uh, us Europeans tend to love. Yeah, just pushing out of Granary second is so difficult because there is not a single way to push out of this map that doesn't involve staring down at the barrel of a demo man and both soldiers. And the choke point is just so small and tight that it's extremely difficult to do anything. We are going to see another edition of the I-52 Epsilon push through Lunchbox that just won them the upper bracket final against Mixup. The best video in the world, honestly. If you're bored, just go onto Warher Yes channel. Watch this pop of that, of, of the golden cap on Granary between Mixup and uh, Nepsi and that. As we do see, actually, Smidge just gets picked off by Sarge there. Really kind of uncharacteristic getting caught out like that. Not expecting him to stand that situation. Polygon's really weak as well, and now top five. They're able to claim this, not for free exactly, because Ams is still able to do so much. As a soldier, he's actually just going to take in this Uber. This is a nice little solo here. He's able to force Ace to flash so many players, which means that even though his Uber was popped up for him, his Uber's just gonna oh last so much longer God. now. The combined soldier spam from Polygon and Amps just takes out absolutely everything, but the Mool is just in! He's trying to just hold this back. They're not that gonna- was... they're probably gonna be able to push this. As the Mool's stuck on last right now, he's not really gonna be able to find that much. But at the same time, Ace just forced the Walker all the way back to the spawners, and now the Mool's gonna get caught out. Nerdrage are finally going to push out to Yard here. They could have potentially pushed that way more aggro, but they just wanted to find that kill on Demul. It was safer just to find him. They're trying to build up this ad right now, but it's actually just relatively tiny. I'm not really sure it will be able to result in anything at all. That was an absolutely beautiful Uber exchange as they're looking to send in that player, but... Oh, no! The Ams get suspended into the air. Their push is coming out, but... uh. Polygon be looking at, to take it. They're going to be looking at, to push them out. The contention is coming in, but they're able to get it. Just yet, yeah, just on the. Oh god, we've got a bomb coming in. I let me speak, boys. All right, so we just need to talk about that for a hot minute. Ams and Sprite read that perfectly. Really good push in. They got the flashes perfectly. And the moment that the top five rocket players tried to come in around the corner. The rockets just started raining down on them and they got three players in like half a second. That was a perfect Uber exchange. It was looking pretty good, but they ended up like losing three in the post Uber. Not exactly completely optimal, but now callback he's in onto the sprite, doesn't actually find anything. Not even a single rocket there. It's kind of the only real attempted aggression coming out of top five right now. We're still nil-nil and we've been playing this map for seven minutes. It's now Polygon, he is in onto Ace doesn't find anything, does find a single, single rocket. Ace is 100 HP, but he just backed off even further. It's so difficult to get onto a medic when he's standing here in Yard, as the scouts are just able to completely deny everything that they tried to do. Walking back into ramp room, trying to find something as Demul is aggressing into choke right now. He's actually jumping forwards, but he can get a body block by the soldier. He's actually on the spray, almost hit that rocket there. Very close stuff. Doesn't find it, however, and now it's probably another counter sack. Coming out of top five, I'm not really sure if they'll be able to find anything right now. Nightrex, they are aggressing. They do have Kunu on the sniper. He's going to try to peek this. Maybe find something. Doesn't find the shot immediately. This is a bit of a hard angle to hit, as it's so easily spammable compared to Viaduct. This map does have a few angles, but they're a lot easier for the enemy team to spam. This is more of the 6 sniper we're used to, where it's very situational. Whether or not you're able to find any pick, he is going to rotate round. Got the choke. Maybe see if he can find anything there. From another angle, as he does not really see anything yet. There's such a long pan around. Does spot Sarge, but he's hiding very well. He does find the headshot, however. This is an opening kill that they could potentially exploit right now. To hold in the defense, but no, Elikru is just sticking up very well. Top 5 are there, backing off, callback drops dangerously low on that choke point, and now Polygon, he's gonna sack in, Elikor's doing his best to try and keep the rest of Nerd Rage from coming in, does actually do a fairly good job, it's only Polygon going down, but Am somehow is found by Demul as well, not sure how that happened, Demul, he is down at 20 HP, but now they have two picks, and the enemy also has a sniper in, on mid now, which is not exactly the place where you want your, uh, your sniper to snipe into, but he does find Elikor, never mind, 
Elecor is just gonna walk into a straight line into the sniper of Kunu. Drops down. Now the rule he's in this guy. Doesn't find anything either. The Uber, however, was forced out of Sprite. It's a full Uber charge advantage for Ace, but they don't have a demo right, demo round right now. They won't really be able to push this that successfully. Smith does go down, but so does Umbrak. The Ubers is popped out. I'm not sure they're gonna be able to get anything else realistically. Polygon, he's actually on second right now. But he is going to find an Elecor and everyone else on top 5 in the meantime. He's just going to get shot down by these scouts here. I don't think he's going to be able to do anything. But he does create a nice opportunity for his team to maybe catch out a player as they've all been chasing him back. But no, not the case. They get cleaned up and now Nerd Rage not in a good spot at all. And top 5 Rocket really need to chase them down. Amps does go down. They're going to be able to get onto mid. And they got the Uber advantage. Sprite coming up now. Right now it's looking pretty cough going for some sort of hero play, not going to be able to land it. And top 5 rocket in good stead to be able to get on to second potentially as Elecor is already looking to come in on the left side of the yard. Callback does go down to a trap from Smiray, but apart from that, they may be able to do some bits and bobs here, Wham. Yeah, Nerdrage just already conceding second looks like with Kunu up on the Engineer. He's just building something on last right now. Trying to keep the enemy, but Polygon as well. Manages actually to find the kill. Collaboration with Smear onto Sorex. This kind of really holds the aggression coming up top 5. Zuber has actually just popped out right now. Elecor trying to land a pipe onto the Soldier. Misses every pipe and they just back out. They don't get the pick. They know that now they've got this, this ad. They need to be really careful. They need to set up some sort of trap, something to get Sprite down. But Sprite's probably going to be a lot calmer now and make sure that he doesn't drop as they're rotating now towards the other side of into the traps. Oh, oh no, they've been cleared, luckily, of Elecor. And now they've gone into there and taken hold of Yard, the uh, Kuroikul third point. All the sticks do get spotted out at the right moment. We're really looking for picks right now for either team, and everyone is just spamming, but Nerd Rage are going to brute force their way in. Damal is now super low, but he's going to trade with Scruff. And Smiray going down has caused a really, really bad situation for Nerd Rage, and they're going to have to back out one. That's not good. They stayed in too long. They didn't get the picks they need, and now they're kind of in a situation where they're going to get bombed. Maybe even forces. The Uber does come in. The forces happened, but so many players have died for... Top 5 Rocket, they do clean up Polygon, the chase is in, but being disconnected means that Sorex does take that Rocket, now he's in a trappable position, he is going to get cleaned up, and Nerd Rage again coming back in, this is the most intense moment on the Granary I've seen in a while, as they are just pushing back and forth, to and fro, Demol does get picked up, Bomb coming in from Korvac, is going to get cleaned up, but he does get Smiray, but Nerd Rage going to be pushing out right now, looking for that pick, and core gets destroyed by Ams! But with that saw, it does give a little bit of advantage to Ace now. And they do end up backing out. One intense couple of moments, Wan. Woo. Yeah, Ams really did go in at the end there. Kind of, kind of popping off, but he didn't manage to really find the kill. He also ended up giving a saw to Ace. Now the Uber charges are effectively even. Not most ideal situation, but the, the they did have to back out of mid there, but the post Uber? When top 5 were just stuffed in that choke point, soldiers could just do so much damage. I think, honestly, Nerdrage were in complete rights about going back in there. But now Sprite, he's got the Uber forced out of him as the enemy team does pop as well. We're, they're just sitting on mid right now, they're not really able to push out of anything. Nobody finding any pick in that Uber exchange. They're rotating around now on top 5, trying to get into this ramp room. Just spamming out slowly and steadily. Sorex is building the Uber charge, whereas nobody finally someone Scruff building, building a nice little uber charge for himself as well. Maybe it's actually Kunu. I'm not sure. It's Kunu. So, uh, no real aggression is going to happen. I'm just going to jump forwards, look at the ramp room, along with Smear. Take a ni have a nice little gander. Maybe someone will find something, but right now it just looks like we're back to another stalemate. As neither team really has an advantage, so it's kind of hard. I do say that, however, but Ace does get the uber slightly quicker than Sprite, but it's only a 10% add. They're not really going to look for anything, however, now that they do have Uber, maybe they're finally comfortable for actually, to actually sack in the players. Demul, he's going to jump Polygon on the flank, try to take the 1v1 with him, and now he's going to jump in, but Polygon oh, hits a huge oh. rocket. Demul does, however, return the favor. 
don't end up doing anything besides just trading with each other. And now we... Not gonna see anything for a while, never mind. They're just gonna take the Uber and Ace actually gets so low before he pops it. The Uber does actually get flashed as well. Scruff has gone down in the meantime. However, and she's just callback dead for top five. But Ace is so low. He's actually scattered pushing forwards right now. I'm strapped as well. Neo is down. They're just trading kills left to right and center right now. It's Soldier and Scout down for both teams. So neither team, again, really wants to commit. It's still even Ubers. <sighs> this is just... We went from really fast, a lot of plays, to just absolutely nothing at all. A lot of that was... I, f I feel like Top 5 Rocket were kind of... They, they were just so dependent on getting more more picks than they got that they just, as soon as they didn't get them, they were just so afraid of going in for They didn't want to go into Smeeray's stickies. And right now, it's just going to be that classic yard to mid stalemate. As both teams, again, looking just to get that little advantage against each other. And really, no team's really taken... taken much of a advantage in any way and no one's really looking on top as Sorex does get cleaned up now the mall is in an awkward little spot as he's going to try and chase down polygon 10 hp on him he is going to get the pack and have a little fight in second with his mates and there's still some exchange going on and yeah they're looking for him 8 hp he's now going to rotate into lunchbox polygon still on the chase Looking for the Frenchman. He's going to try and go down. Oh, he's getting chased by a scout right now. He may be able to win it. No, Polygon rotates beautifully into drop down and cleans him up. You know it's a good game when you're forced to do play-by-play -play and a soldier having his own little adventure on the flank. Stel Korpak is <laughs> jumping on, <laughs> on the ramp right now. Shut up, that was an adventure, <laughs> It was right? very intense. It was very funny to watch, actually. They're just trying to get aggressive, but no team's really willing to commit anything. Demul knows, recognizes that this is probably the long con that's now... He spawns in the spy initially, but Scruff somehow... I'm not sure how this happened. He's just on the enemy second. Spots out Demul on the spy, forces Demul to not pull it off class and just play the soldier instead. Which means he's going to have an even longer stalemate probably. As now top 5, they're forced to just kind of sack in more players, but they won't really do this. Because they know that they have this scruff just behind. I'm really confused about how he managed this, and I'm even more confused if it doesn't go down right now. We're just going to look at a reverse situation, what we had before. It's not two players trying to chase him down. He actually almost finds the kill there on Danilo. It's only two HP. But now Kunu's dead as well, somehow. Sprite's dead too. Sprite's drop! No! Oh, Elecor gets the kill onto Sprite, and now Nerd Rage are going to have to back pedal out. Mate, this is this is an interesting situation. Oh, you got the drop down positioning from the soldier right now. I don't know if anyone knows Polygon. Yeah, they, they, they know Polygon's there. He is going to get cleaned up. That was not good for Nerd Rage. 100% Uber ad for top five rocket. They're going to be going in on this right hand side. The Pootis is up, but they're going to be able to go in. The jump's coming in. They're going to try and deal with the sentry gun. It is going to get cleaned up. As Elecor's trying to deny that, they've got three off classes on the side of Nerd Rage as Am tries his best, but Elecor is now going to look to clean up players, gets a pipe on the smear rate. There's just so much death for Nerd Rage, and that's going to be the first round in 18 minutes going to top five rocket on Granary. I actually really want to highlight Kunu there before the push even happened. The only real way, the way that I've seen people push last and actually have it work on this map is Ubering your demo and doubles and having him double sticky bomb onto the enemy there on that hold. And Kunu actually just snipes Elecor's sticky, delaying him a little bit. If that actually helped him, I'm not really sure. It turned out they won, they, they, they lost anyway, but it was a really nice play actually. Not sure if it was intentional or not. Elecor, however, he's actually dropped fairly low on this mid. Zam's finally jumping across, but he just finds the scout player. It doesn't really matter. Sarks is dead anyway. They're claiming this mid all for themselves. Elecor is dead as well, but Sprite is down to Demul, just in behind. He actually manages to skip out as well. Now Korbak and Neo, they're trying to get back into mid, but Neo just gets killed immediately. So now it's two soldiers off for top five, along with their med. They do have an ad. They're just going to wait for their two players. And they're probably going to try to repush this. It's now Kunu. Walking back, meet up with his med. They aren't really on mid right now, top five. They're just waiting for Neo. And they're gonna be able to push back in here. 
to Bourne. He's already looking at ramp room. They're already kind of scouting it out. Amzu's sitting on top of Craig. Trying to call. Because they know that they can't really realistically hold this. They're going to try to get force. Polygon's actually in a fairly aggressive position already. Nice little hidey spot there. Just going to get called out by the soldier immediately probably. Now Amzu's going to bomb onto Ace. Does find a nice rocket. But Elicor finds a counter pipe onto him. Demore's dead on the flank. But it doesn't really matter. The Uber charge is still not popped for Ace. And they find two kills anyway. Onto Scruff and Polygon. They just take this mid for free. They still have Uber charge. They can pop, possibly actually roll this. Maybe not into last. Depending on how they play this, they can actually take second off this. But it does look like, however, they're just playing this bit too slow and they're not really looking to actually take second. If they were a bit faster, they could have been able to push. What are they doing? What are they doing? What is this? What, is, what are they doing? Um, yes! Demur? I what, love what, what is this? I love this so much. They've gone through drop down. They've gone for the exchange. They've not got who they wanted to. But that was still so hilarious to watch. They lose arms. Nerd Rage, no, they're gonna concede another round. Eleko with the pipe onto Polygon Sprite alone. <laughs> that was funny in concept, but I'm not really sure about the logic of why oh, that would no. ever work. Uh, <laughs> Smear gets a last in fight war, however. Um, <laughs> honestly, pretty confusing. <laughs> I, I'm not really sure why you'd ever do that. <laughs> Bit confusing, like, you go behind there and if you don't find kills immediately, they're just gonna back cap you or just kill you outright. You, like, willingly give up a lot of good positioning you have when you're holding second, and instead just, like, let them walk all over you. Very strange stuff. We are headed into another middle, however, Grumpy Koi. So we do see Elicor spamming stickies early on. So does, uh, so does Smear, trying to find some early damage here onto Sorex. Does find it just a little bit chip damage. Callback's dead immediately, actually. As Amzu bombs it, doesn't actually find anything. Now Callback, he's in the ramp room. Does find Kuno, almost finds Sprite as well, but doesn't actually end up getting the kill. Scruff and Sprite, they're just leaving mid. And now it's just Polygon left alone on a suicide mission. Doesn't end up finding anything at all. Scruff just gonna build up this Uber charge with his med. They'll probably be able to hold second here, because top five. Haven't really seemed willing so far to be able to really push this aggressively. However, I think this might actually just be fast enough for them to be able to take this second without a problem. Arms is up, which makes this a lot difficult. Actually, never mind. They're not even going to get this. It's so hard to push this right now if you're top five because the projectile classes on the enemy team just have such good positions. And if you try to capture this, you're just going to funnel into this tiny little choke point. So easily spammed by the enemy, but Hams is actually gonna get called out here over aggressive here as long as Smear I'm actually really surprised that neither of them go down Very lucky for them to be completely honest. I'm not really sure how they ended up living that Yo, one, I've got one question answer this as quickly as possible. Whose idea do you think that was? Ams, 100%. Yeah, 100%. There's no way it's not Ams. 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 Oh it's Tumor, it's actually got dead. In with this, they've got in with the Uber exchange. It's not looking good for Nerd Raid. They went in through Z. Now Sorex looking to clean up Ams. Ams is going to go down, but only trading one player a piece for the Uber exchange. Going to make things a little bit, e little bit easier for uh, Nerd Raid to push out, but they need to get these picks. And to be honest, with seven and a half minutes left, Nerd Raid can just like well, sorry not with nerd rage top five rocket can just chill yeah they don't have to push anything at all it's entirely on the other team's prerogative to be able or to push at all because they are down two rounds and as we've seen from a pace so far being down two rounds with only seven minutes left it's actually a pretty tall order they have a nice little like two percent advantage here which they shouldn't push off of but they might just do it anyways they're getting to the point of almost desperation i'm dropping down through drop down Immediately gets killed. I think this confirms my theory that Ams was the one calling it because he just decides to go for it again. It's surely the second time they won't notice. Yeah. No. 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 Now we do it a third time. This, that's that's the logic you got to have in these moments. Like, they they won't think we're, we're we're stupid enough to do it twice. What is Neo looking for? I think he's looking for a spy. But right now, you know, top. Oh, the do the the do the Australian. Two scouts coming in with the Uber onto nothing. And the Uber comes in from oh top no. five rocket. So much better oh for them. No. Smearing's gonna get cleaned up. The scout's doing a little bit of a wiggle. He's gonna get out. Now we got the soldier in trying to get on. Polygon's now coming in. Ace does go down with 
two left for either side. I feel like top five rocket are gonna back out, but no oh, did Nerd Rage deserve that? That was incredibly questionable. I know there's only six minutes left, so they kind of have to make something happen. Polygon does find the kill onto Ace, which means that now Sprite has a 50% advantage. Both teams are building, but top five's already on mid. Nerd Rage kind of have to ride this uber charge advantage all the way into last if they want a chance to like even tie this game. It's looking pretty difficult for them actually. Five minutes is like three rounds in five minutes. I don't think it's theoretically possible. They're kind of in a situation already where it has to become a golden cap. They're pushing in, but they still really haven't found anything. Top five are playing this really passively. They know that they don't have to do anything. Have to sit back. They can potentially just give up second now at this point. If they even do that, because Nerd Rage are being so slow about this. They took so much time trying to cap mid right now, that now it's only five minutes left. Make, meaning that, that if they don't win this round right now, they're in a golden cap already. Kunu is just going to walk into the point right now. Spam is coming down from the entirety of top five. Polygon sitting in lunchbox, maybe trying to find a different angle, but no. Elicor and Demur just holding this. The Uber's finally coming out right now. Kunu's walking forwards onto Elicor. Doesn't actually find anything. The counter Uber is popped out. Now Elicor, he's the demo man on Granary second. So it just absolutely minces anyone trying to do anything. Demur does go down. Two Polygon on the flank, but Elicor is just still holding this completely, completely being a stalwart defender right now. I'm not really seeing how top or how Nerd Rage are able to do anything. They're just gonna have to re-aggress right now in this uh, non-Uber situation right now. They're just gonna have to walk forwards. Kunu is just gonna press his W onto Elicor. They actually do find Elicor wherever. Smith with a nice sticky bomb right now. Bull's just sitting on top right now. He's trying to spam some rockets, but doesn't find any kills. The demo man being dead right now is actually really important. This is probably even more so than the medic. The pick that Nerd Rage need is they're just gonna walk into the last. The heavy, however, is gonna do a lot in terms of denying this. The Uber from Ace is finally up, however. The counter Uber from Sprite is gonna come up as well, but the heavy out of Neo just gonna deny them so much. And now with Elicor up as well, and Scruff going down, they're not able to find anything close to a capture right now. They're just forced to sit back on second. They don't have an Uber charge. Maybe, maybe wait for Scruff, and they're just gonna have to push back in right now, I think, honestly, because they don't really have time to spare. No, Rage. I really don't understand the double scout, like, Uber exchange ideas. Like, the med's not close enough. They managed to pick up some players here and get down the sentry gun. They're going to slow push their way in piece by piece, but Elicor is still up. He can deny the point that they put so much time onto it. And They oh, get it? Yeah, that's how you play TF2, is you put players on the point and the other team oh, doesn't. Okay. So that was, yeah, do that again. I th I'm not sure there's much that they can do again. It's more like have top five game, like somehow just get amnesia and forget that the point is how you win in the game mode. I'm really confused as to how they let that happen, honestly. <laughs> it doesn't make a lot of sense. As they... we do see, Elicor is a lot faster than Smear. Doesn't really seem to be impacting the mid that much, however. Scruff is dropping down fairly low right now. The aggression from callback already. He's jumping in, they find Smear immediately right now. The counter aggression. Polygon goes down and Ams goes down as well. They're not really able to find any counter frags besides callback. They're forced back onto the second. There's two minutes left right now. They have to capture one round. It's nearing. This is like, it's not garbage time, but it's pretty close to garbage time. As top five, they have to make another really big mistake at this point in order to, to lose this. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> gonna be... It's gonna walk forwards with this Uber. They have to take this double scout Uber out of out of second again. Why? But it's, it doesn't get anything, but at the same time, they're kind of forced to push out. If they don't, they just end up like losing by not doing anything. But they don't find anything with this Uber, and now they're stuck. It's even Ubers, but the enemy team just has way better positioning. They're pushing out of lunchbox right now, trying to find something. Now Botsol is actually just going to bomb in right now, trying to find some sort of bomb, but Ams get shut down, and Sprite is dead as well from Demul. Polygon does find the kill onto Ace, but it's the only saving grace right now. Smears one guy up versus four players. Just gets cleaned up by Sorax right now. This is game. Yeah, this is 100% game. I, wow. I'm, confu I'm confused. Like, I, 
congratulations to Top 5 Rocket. They played a good, clean game. But Nerd Rage did they? Did... Yeah, well, compared to Nerd Rage, they did. I'm doing a comparison yeah, okay. here. Compared to Nerd Rage, they definitely did. I do not understand the double scout plays without any information. That's that's the thing. Like it can be like they they double scout Ubered into just Elecor at one point with Ace nowhere near them, and they still didn't get Elecor, and they kind of just awkwardly just left again. But the one time they do a classic Uber exchange with Ams, it works out for them. So I don't understand why they changed it when they could have kept going with the Ams Uber exchanges. Yeah. Hmm. Confusing play overall towards the end. I think it's honestly probably just um, just nerves coming out of the side of Nerdridge towards the end. They're not really able to properly do anything. <laughs> this crit 10 seconds left is pretty funny. It doesn't actually get it. It's, uh, it's over. Yeah, GG, but honestly disappointing second, second map right now, and I think... Nerd Rage and Top 5 went into this game being even in the standings, and they leave this game being even in the standings. Which, honestly, actually, to be completely honest, this puts Top 5 in a much harder spot than it puts Nerd Rage, because next week, Nerd Rage have to play the Germans, which haven't been that good compared to the rest of the, 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 play, the teams in Prem. On the other hand, Top 5 have to play against Oro Electro, who are in like joint second place right now with Karnax and have had a really good season so far. I think honestly, like <laughs> as weird as this sounds, it 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 ends up either way in favor of, of Nerd Rage simply due to the fact that they get a much easier opponent next week. Yeah, that's the that's the the only real sa saving grace. Like it should be like Unless, I don't want to say it because Nerd Rage had, like, should be ha doing a stronger performance on Granary. I feel like they made too many mistakes. And if they do the same mistakes against the Germans, it's all over for them. Like, I'm, I want them to, to, to be able to get to, um, playoffs, but I st also want Top 5 Rocket to get into playoffs as well. So it's, it's going to be interesting against our Electra because could potentially if both Nerd Rage and Top 5 Rocket win their respective games, could they put, could they run the risk of putting our Electra or Karnax out of the play playoffs? I think as a consequence of the fact that Nerd Rage would then be taking six points away from Aura Electro and Aura Electro getting zero points, they'd actually, they'd end up ahead of Aura Electro and possibly because of that, Nerd Rage would also end up, in theory. But I also, you have to apply a huge asterisk to that, which is expecting top five to take six points in an official, which like, so far hasn't really seemed to be mm. something they're capable of doing that consistently. Um, yeah, I think next week is the week to watch, it seems, as, uh, all of the week six games from from this week are also going to be played next week. Everything it all comes Every, down to next week. Everything's going down next week. Like this this it week really we've only is. got one game, but next week is just going to be an absolute plethora of madness. Shall we? Uh, shall we have a look at the logs? Get Let's the numbers out of the way. Have a look at the logs. Yeah. It's kind of what you'd expect. It's a granary game, so not many people have very good logs. Sarix goes nine to ten, which is nineteen to ten. Sorry, which is fine. I I guess. I mean, there's not really much to be surprised about. Maybe you could kind of tell why that this is such a slow-paced game because you just see that nobody's really getting anything that impressive compared to the last game where we did see a lot higher numbers. But it's just like. I think but, overall it's just a consequence of, of the game that we ended up seeing be played. Mm. But even with that, it's like three mid fights went to 
top five rocket. They did have a much better showing during this game. Like they had advantage on Ubers as well. It just, yeah, it just felt like top five rocket really, you know, made some good decisions. Not all of them were perfect, but a lot of them did translate into wins. And then Nerd Rage just choked. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to sound like I'm just, you know, beating them down, but things like, yeah, Ace having two deaths, thanks for that, Lucky, that's a really good point, that should not be the situation, two to seven in difference, like, the Ace only died twice during that whole game, and that that kind of shows what was happening. Like, they were doing plays with their Ubers that should not really happen, and they shouldn't be, you know, they shouldn't really be going taking these exchanges with two players. Like, trying to get these Uber exchanges out with two players, you're immediately having to flash both your scouts, and they're at, like, 60% by the time that um, Ace right-clicks. It's just... I don't know. I just don't. I just don't agree with it. I just don't agree with that play. That play just. Rah. Yeah, kind of. Um, I guess you could call it chokes. But I think another thing to take away from this is that if we end up in a player scenario, in a playoff scenario, anyone who decides to not ban product against Nerd Rage are absolutely out of their minds or extremely confident because they were just looking supreme on that map. It was. Oh yeah. Very good compared to the second map, and and yeah, product has always kind of been an AMS map, especially the last couple of seasons as well, where it also was clearly the best map in their map pool. But they just it needs more flexibility. I feel like because right now that that wasn't a good performance on uh, on on Granary. It was the same as last week as well. Last week they lost to Carnax. And I'm just going to call them the Frenchies because there's six Frenchies on that team and they have a very long French name that I can't pronounce. Um, again, where they just made these kind of weird questionable plays toward the end that kind of just ended up throwing the game. I mean, you can always just chuck, chuck this up to a lack of experience, but yeah, I mean, it's not the greatest showing. It's not a good way to end your night if you're, uh, if, if you're Nerd Rage. Anyways... Enough of this. I think we should uh, we should probably head over to some interviews. I see some players, maybe talk to talk to a few players. Yeah, we'll bring them in now. Get them unmuted. Okay, so gonna do it alphabetically. We've got Ace from Top Five Rocket. Then we've got Ams and Koff or Kunu from Nerd Rage. How are we doing, gentlemen? It's going it's going well, bros. How's it going? How's it going? Hello. Hello. So, taking that off, um, Cough. Hi. How are you feeling after that product? After product? Yeah, after uh, product. You, you've got to feel good. It was standard day in the office, wasn't it? Standard day in the office. You got. No biggie. No biggie. No biggie at all. Not really. Uh, kind of sucked just... quite a bit of it. <laughs> Sure. Sure, okay. you're modest too. Um, but yeah, that was like, this This series has been a game of two halves. Like coming out of, like Am's cough, we'll clearly t- speak to you guys. Like coming out of the, um, the product game, you guys must have felt really confident. And what happened? Like there was a couple of decisions that, especially that one where you all, that this, Definitely was you, Ams. This was definitely your decision where you all went down, uh, drop down. Please tell me that <laughs> yes, was you. it was Ams. <laughs> yeah, 100%. That's an Ams play. That one was worked on. We just fed at the end of it. Uh, be like, we got two frags, I think. It worked really good at, like, at the start. It would have worked, but we but, committed like, were, too early. Yeah, they were in the shadow door. It was six before. And then I just called, like, go fuck them. Go, no, no, no. Go, go, go. And then just five seconds later, all dead. So <laughs> sometimes it'd be like that. Yeah, and it's also like um, the double scout Ubers. I didn't really like. Was was the plan to try and just catch like the meta out, or were well, they exchange the ideas? Game, we just had to get the Ubers out of the way basically because we're two 0 down and it's granary. So if you get stuck mm. in a granary stalemate, like 
it's gonna take 10 minutes so like they played better at the beginning of the map they like outplayed us on mids specific like especially on mids um and they had good pushes to last as well so they got the first two rounds like just outplaying us and then after that it's just like them holding and us trying to make something happen so this is why we have to do things like we have to do double scout rates and shit like this just to get the ubers out the way so we can try to do something after yeah, it's, uh, the, the reason I ask is because there was one exchange that you were in AMS um, that actually worked really well for you, like the single Uber exchange, where you baited them back onto point and then you did some, you guys like spam them all out and that was a really good play. And then it seemed like you didn't do that again. And I was, that, that just interested me because that, that worked really, really well for you. Most of the times when we're doing those double scouts is because AMS had died and we were doing it off his spawn. Mm. So we can't oh, do that, okay. obviously. Yeah, it was just like potentially like waiting for it or setting them up. It was just it was just interesting. Like I wasn't really expecting that play to come out. So, but moving on quickly to Ace, uh, how are you feeling at the end of that product game? Because that one was wasn't wasn't the funnest. Just because Cough just had a run with things. Like how are you feeling coming off that product game? Um. I don't like product, but I really like Granary, and I played very badly. Like product is probably one of my worst maps, and I played very very badly, so it was pretty bad. I was a little bit demoralized, but I knew that on Granary it was another story because it's um, one of my maps, and my team is good on Granary. So yeah, just have mm. to keep going forward and reset your mind and think about the next map. And then, really good game from you on Granary, though. Uh, two, only two deaths. Uh, playing for logs, baiting, my, one of my strongest <laughs> maps. <laughs> so you were just playing for our logs the entire game? Is that the plan? Uh, sh maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the rest of the top five hear that. They wouldn't be too happy with you. But, like, this is kind of an open question, but now that you guys have got to got to this point got two points apiece we're going into the final week how are how are you guys feeling about your chances to get into playoffs fine we're playing the germans mm. going by the table so far they are the lowest ranked team so we're quietly confident but we won't underestimate uh, i think even if you beat the germans it's going to be pretty close right it depends on yeah. like how other teams do yeah. so like i was saying to my team like this before i came here that like whether we make playoffs or not, it's like it's a bummer if we don't. But it's our first season together, and we've improved so much. Like we haven't had that much time to improve, really. Like we're a really new team still, and we have had good results against teams that have been together for seasons. Like every team in Prem right now is basically more established than we've been. So, like regardless of whether we make playoffs or not, like I'm pretty happy with how my team has improved, and I know that if we make playoffs, like we're gonna surprise people. But if we don't, then we don't deserve it because we haven't had good enough results. So it is what it is. But I'm hoping we're gonna make it in because playoffs is like the only fun part about ETF two L seasons anyway. <laughs> it's really it's really fun to spectate. That's when it all goes down on the line. And for you, Ace, you've got uh Or Electra. Uh yeah. I mean, this is my first season in Prem and my first season with top five, obviously. And quite excited, but it's rough because we are facing a pretty good team. Is or Electro. So yeah, it would be nice if we got into playoffs, but I wouldn't be too sad if we if we simply lose. It's fine. My first season. But imagine getting your first season of Prem into playoffs. How good would that feel? Um, I mean, getting to playoffs for me. First place is winning, everything else is losing. So, decent, but not you 10 out win. of 10. Winning is everything. Uh, Wandam, have you got any questions for these lovely gentlemen? I have one. Um, I'm actually pretty curious. This is another like, fairly open-ended question. Where you'd sort of rank each team that we have in ETS World right now, do you think that the tables are actually representative of, of, where you, of how the teams should be able to perform against each other um, towards the end of the season? Or do you think that, like, for example, like, 
do you think that like who do you think is the, the second best team in Prem right now? I don't think anybody knows the answer to this question, man. No, no, no one knows. It's so close. I know the answer. answer. Find out I, next week on TFTV. I, I don't know who the second one is, but I know who the first one is. Yeah, that's a boring question, though, Ace. <laughs> I know, like, so far, I think, especially in this season, like, all the top five teams, lol, top five joke, XD, like, they are pretty even, you know, at least on, like, a couple of maps. There are some teams that are very good at certain maps and some others that are very bad on some others, so I think it's fairly even and playoffs are going to be interesting. But there is a team that is pretty fucking good, and that's Karnax, man. Karnax team is insane. They're second place. I, Sorry, I, I we, we know that Reckoner was an inside job by the French community to get Karnax in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Let's not talk about Keep that. Keep going. That's like... Like you mean you mean like the Reconer they played against us, like the the Ophi they played against us? You have four Frenchies as well. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, but I think he process was the inside job. Reconer was kind of, yeah. But yeah, I think Karnak team is very good. They play they play very well together. I think with this, we're probably done for tonight, unless, Grumpy Koi, do you have any sort of last questions? Nah. Should we just go straight to the shoutouts? Mm hmm. So, start alphabetically again. Just go, Ace. Shoutouts now. Um, shout out to Ombrak. That's all. Amps. Uh, yeah, shout out to Top 5. Pretty good game. I hope. We play you guys again in playoffs. Yeah, I think mean, that'd be a sick, that'd be a sick match. Um, shout out to my team for carrying me tonight. Uh, you guys tried your best. Next time I'll try to be not shit. And uh, thank you guys for casting. As always, it's appreciated very much. Cool. Shout out to the team. Shout out to NerdRage for their support. Uh, you guys for the, the production and all that. And uh. I'm going to self-promote myself. I'm going to be streaming some scary games right after this on my Twitch. <gasps> so, I'm shook. come, come, come face, join come, in. Face, come, face, come. Yes, yes. With I am shook. Easy. Is the scary game just you playing against another good sniper? No, the scary game is bugs. <laughs> He's going to play some bugs. Ah. Uh. Go up, Catbocar added. Scary game time. Catbocar is never the issue, man. Remember that. Anyway, Grumpy Koi, got any shots? Um, yeah. Thanks to both teams that are playing. Uh, thanks to everyone who's watching. Shout out to my boy Lucky and my boy Wheat, Arch Rhythm for doing production, and Juan for being my co-caster. Thank you all. All right. Shout outs to all the boys in chat, also the girls in chat, but not as much because I don't like. No. Um, and also <laughs> DM me. Um, shout outs to Grumpy Koi for casting. Shout outs to Arch Rhythm for being the big boy on production. It seems to not be. Um, it, it must be extremely stressful to produce a Viaduct game, and I'm really happy for him. And I also saw a message that he really needs to go to the bathroom. I think we should end it here. This has been Grumpy Koi, Wandom, and Arch Rhythm on the production ETF12, Season 34, powered by the community. See you guys next time.